In this lecture, I'm going to show you crude lip syncing, a close approximation to lip syncing. Now, Create Studio doesn't include a lip sync feature, but we can get pretty close by having the character do a talk action while the voice is going on. Now, you can also make some modifications for longer voice things and shorter ones, so the lips don't just keep moving when they're not saying anything. Let's jump over to Create Studio and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here I am in Create Studio. Let's create a project called Lip Sync 1080. And let's do white. Now, let's go over and create some text to speech. And we'll make this one really short. We're gonna say, um, hey, Fred, what's up? Uh, let's say, what are you doing today? Okay, and we want a female speaker. So let's try Holly and we'll generate. Preview. Hey Fred, what are you doing today? Uh, that's pretty good. Um, now, one of the other things you could do is you could change speed. So we can slow this down. Let's try that. It was a little fast. Hey Fred, what are you doing today? There, that's a, that's a little better. Now, we import this and we've got our voice. Let's pull that into the project. Now what I want is I want a character. So we're going to come over to Studio, Characters, 3D, and I want the teacher. So the teacher I picked because she has a talk action. Now not all characters have a talk action. In fact, the teacher has two talk actions, talking and talking another variation. Let's try talking. Now you can see that's way too long. So let's try talking another variation. Ooh, that's getting closer. So let's see what this looks like. Hey Fred, what are you doing today? But you can see her lips keep moving. Now one of the things we can do is we can crop off the end of this. Hey Fred, what are you doing today? There we go. Very nice. So cropping off the end of a speech pattern is one thing you want to, you can do. Now, what if I want to have another action, like uh, have her be happy or something? I can't add the action. If I go and say, add the action of wave, there we go. What it'll do is it'll extend the talking, another variation, all the way out to the end. Well, I don't exactly want that. I want the wave over here. Well, here's how you accomplish that. We shorten up the talking to match the words, and then we take her and we duplicate her. Bring her over here, select her, and change the talking variation to what did we say we wanted her to do, wave? And now she waves. Now, one of the problems with this technique that you're going to find, let me play this. Hey Fred, what are you doing today? Notice how she jumped. See, this is her, uh, her stable position, her, her <laughs> stat static state. So every action, she returns to this state. And that way the actions can seamlessly be, be uh, sewn together. What we did was we cut off the end of the talking another variation and got rid of that action that brings her back to the steady state. So let's see if we can do this actually. What would happen if I duplicate this Okay. Then I want to come here, have this go all the way out here. 
So now we've got the entire talk sequence, but what happens if I crop off the front of it so that I just get her returning to state? That gets her back to a steady state. And then she can wave, and that should be much smoother. So let's check that out. Hey, Fred, what are you doing today? See, she goes back to that stable state. So this is the way to make the cropping of a voice seamless. Now, the other problem that you can have is, let's go back to our text-to-speech. What if we have really long speech? There we go. This is a really long speech that I'm making in support of this animation demonstration. Okay. And then we take, who was it? We used Holly, I believe. And we slowed her down just a tad. There, right there. And we're going to generate and preview. This is a really long speech that I'm making in support of this animation demonstration. Okay. Now let's import that. And that'll be the second thing that she says. Okay, let's come over here. Get the second. <laughs> no, I think actually this is the second. Yeah, it's somewhat longer. Now let's have the teacher again. We'll duplicate her and pull her over here. And instead of wave, we'll have her do the another variation. And notice how it's too short, <laughs> okay? So what do you do here? Well, the first thing you do is you shorten this up to remove the, uh, whoops, didn't wanna do that. Let's use good old undo, there we go is that we shorten this up to get rid of the return to the steady state at the end. Let's see if we got it. Okay, let's see where she stops speaking and returns to steady state. There she is at steady state. She's kind of talking there. So let's pull it back to here, and then we take and we make another copy of her. And she's talking again. Now let's remove the steady state from the beginning of this. Actually, we can have her finish talking. Well, she's not going to finish talking, actually, because it, we just need a short one here. Oh, let's pull the playhead. There she's talking. right about there. So we crop off the steady state front of this. Uh, we're having a hard time with it. Let's zoom in on this. Let me get a little more precise. And then we crop off the end to match the end of the speech. And let's see just how smooth this is. Now this is where I'm talking that it's crude. You get some little jerks and stuff like that. We removed the jerk from this one by putting the steady state animation in between. Now, see how this works. This is a really long speech that I'm making in support of this animation demonstration. Whoa. Oh, I see. I cropped off the beginning of it, and then I need it to go to the end. Let's try that again. This is a really long speech that I'm making in support of this animation demonstration. There, so you can see that by cropping off the fronts 
the uh, return to steady state from the end of a talk and the return or in the start and steady state from the front of a talk, you can have consistent talking. Now you'll get a little glitch here in the transfer from one character to the next. And that's how you do crude lip syncing. In the next lecture, we're going to look at creating vignettes. Those are like the cloudy outlines that you put around an animation. I'll see you in that lecture.